Mother Nature will finally come in with an assist to wildland firefighters. Two storm fronts over the next five days will lower temperatures, raise humidity, and on Sunday will likely even include significant snow. Finally, a chance for firefighters to go from mostly playing defense to going on the offensive. It is always very welcome to have events that do give you those opportunities and that time to be more aggressive with your actions. Michelle Kelly is assigned to the Cameron Peak Fire. She says firefighters will always welcome any amount of snow, but they do not expect this storm to be what they call a season ending event. Realistically, with the fire of this size and with the type of vegetation and fuels available to the fire, we need significant amounts of precipitation, not all at once, but for a prolonged period of time. It will be a quick storm in and out, but these high snow totals projected by computer models are very preliminary, but certainly eye-catching. The reason for these big numbers, however, is because of the very dry nature of the snow expected. And it's not the amount of snow in inches that matters to a fire. It's the water contained in that snow and how long it stays on the ground. There is no way to tell how long the fires might lay down after this snowstorm, but firefighters plan to go on the direct attack while these fires sleep. It, it really helps. So they will take absolutely every bit of advantage of this pause that we get. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. We also contacted fire commanders at the Calwood Left Hand and East Troublesome Fires. They do not expect this weekend's storm to be a season ender for them either.